How is everyone? So. That's actually kind of amazing. Is that you, Krista? Yeah. Um, what a strange phenomenon. When an entire room screams, yeah! and one person like, I'm okay. I mean, I'm okay really pops out in that context. I'm stuck in this shitty convention. <laughs> Otherwise, fine. Um, it is, this is, this is uh, lovely, lovely to have you guys here. This is like our home turf. It's kind of weird to have you here. How many people are from far away? <laughs> eh, not so far. Somebody say <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, it's like, a, like you're getting to see our hometown, because we've all been here for so long now, um, that it is actually like a second home for, for all of us cast who've been on the show for a while. Um, and we're here at the right time of the year, which is also good. Um, it's kind of false advertising. Summer in Vancouver is, is not at all what it's like in June. <laughs> um, but it's, you're here at the right time. Um, have, have, have you guys done the tour, the like, location tour yet? Yes! Was that good? Yes! It was? Yeah, it was so great. fun! No dissension there. No. Eh. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> Last year was crap. Last year sucked. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for saying what everybody was thinking. Um, what did you guys see on the tour? A Me. bunch of alleys. Alleys? A lot of alleys. Alleys. Oh yeah, that's a, that's oh, yeah. a good time, man. When I go to a strange city, I love to check out the dark alleys myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Um, I hire a, a tour guide, and I'm like, what's wrong with that alley? <laughs> wow, that sounds really great. Um, is that part of the brochure? Like, come check out our alleys? <laughs> right up your alley? <laughs> uh, yeah. This is it. This is the food gallery right there. Right there. Um, <laughs> what can you, can you guys just by a, a show of hands, or, or force, however you want to do it, um, how many of you are participating in dishes right now? <laughs> so it's a reasonably large minority. Um, yeah, I'm doing it. Um, we, we, we meant to hit, uh, like, far exceed our goal on um, this, this school that we're trying to keep open in South Africa today, which is totally awesome. So thank you guys for um, We've kind of invented this way to play a game that's fun and challenging, that also has this ancillary benefit of doing some good in the world, that also has this ancillary benefit of getting my chores done, <laughs> which is so great. It sort of solves all problems at once. Um, all right, you have a question? Hi, um, Hi. just want to say first that I love you, you're amazing, and I've come a long way to meet you. Where, well, thank you, by the way. Um, that's a lot to take in. Um, <laughs> where are you coming from? Costa Rica. <laughs> okay. oh. All right, I think that counts as a long way. Um, have you been here before? Nope. What do you think? I'm blacking it, yeah. Okay. How long are you here for? I came here on Wednesday and I leave on Wednesday next week. Okay. Yeah. Um, my question was, um, what exactly were you doing when you came up with the Gishwas items? <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you come up with them? You mean, what was I taking? <laughs> What was I on? Or you, I'm not sure I followed the question. Like, like, 
How did you come up with them? Like exactly what were you doing when you um, thought about the items? Oh. <laughs> Um, I was being tortured. Um, Making a list of chores. Yeah. So, so I, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not quite sure I understand the question. Like, was I like, like taking a dump? When I, was, <laughs> I have to love that I like. I glanced over to watch them sign that. I was like, and take that one, guys. Sign that. <laughs> What is sign? How do you sign take a dump? <laughs> oh, okay. That's a great. Okay. Oh, can you show me? Put your thumb up. Thumb up. Hey, do it again. Do it again. That's so great. Thank you. That made my day. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> or like, I'm sorry for putting it, it's an occupational hazard, I'm sorry for putting it in that. Um, so no, I wasn't, since you're asking, I was not on the toilet. Um, <laughs> But I, um, I've been, I had been keeping this list um, in a file on my computer of strange kind of art projects that I wanted to somehow materialize at some point. And I, I had had it for 10 years and I noticed that I wasn't getting any of it done. And um, I guess this goes back to the whole chore thing. <laughs> um, I had this, um, situation that I, I painted myself into a corner on Twitter where I promised uh, the fans, long story, but for, for some reason I promised my followers that I would um, share a rhinoceros with them. <laughs> if they did something and it was successful and they did it and it was successful and I wasn't expecting that to be the case, and then I was like, oh shit, what do I do? <laughs> I promised people a rhinoceros. <laughs> So I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll, because I have this sort of like rule <coughs> that is I like to, if I promise something, I like to fulfill it. Um, and so I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll go to the LA Zoo and I'll ask them for rhino shit. <laughs> and I'll mail people. <laughs> How do you sign rhino shit? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I, they, so the zoo said, um, no, <laughs> it's just like, what are you talking about? No, what are you going to do with that anyway? <laughs> They're going to throw it out, but they didn't have the charity in their hearts to give me some rhino shit so I could give it to people. To put on their <laughs> so that really then doubled back me into a corner because I didn't know what I was going to do. And then a friend had the idea. Why don't you make puzzles of rhinoceroses and then mail them to people? And that led to this whole thing of like putting a clue on the back that led to this sort of mini scavenger hunt. And that was the first issue. And I thought it was just a one off thing. But then these photos started coming in of what people <coughs> did because I had told them to do it for my art project list. <laughs> and things not on the art project list. <laughs> um, and I just thought, this is amazing. I, lo I just love looking at the images. There was actually one moment, I've shared this before, there was one moment when, at that point, I, had, I was having people email them to me, and the submissions, and um, I opened this one email, and there was this picture of this kid, uh, he was from the Philippines, he was standing in front of his closet door, and he was covered head to toe in cotton candy, except for his face, which was covered in lipstick. And that was an item for the scavenger hunt that I had written down and forgotten that I had written down until I saw the image. And then I just started laughing and laughing and laughing because it was like this person looks so miserable. We laugh at our suffering. Exactly. Yes. We laugh. So, uh, and 
at that moment, I was like, I, I literally had the thought, like, I don't. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but I fully had the thought at that moment, this, <laughs> this is what I was meant to do. <laughs> That was the inception point, I think. And it, like when that, when I saw that, and I just like had this gut laugh. I thought, okay, I gotta do this again. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for creating Gishwis. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are I'm you? over Zoom, and my question is. Boy. Boy. <laughs> my question is, if you could change one thing, cast your history, what would it be? One thing in Castiel's history? Yes. <laughs> I would say probably his past. Because <laughs> that's been pretty shitty. I mean, every time he tries to do something right, and he really tries hard, like that's one of the true um, anchors of Castiel's character, is that he's really always trying to do the right thing. Um, and yet that invariable, invariably leads him to do things that create catastrophe. Um, so, I mean, never meeting Dean? Uh, <laughs> something that like headed off the whole thing. Um, but I'll give you a better answer. I think, I think, Cass um, having that that one moment when he got all pop culture references downloaded for him <laughs> really polluted his otherwise innocent mind. <laughs> you know, up until that point, he was just a fish out of water at all times, and then all of a sudden it was like he understood references, and that just took away the Cass, you know? Damn yeah. it, Metatron. Metatron. Metatron really screwed stuff up. <laughs> Has anyone read Curtis's new book? Yeah. Curtis Armstrong, who played Metatron, has a new book. You should read it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. If you want your mind blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. I hear that you have a lot of pranks played on you by the boys on that set. That is not true, no. <laughs> so, if you had a chance to get even with one of them, which yep. one would it be and what would you like to do? Um, Jared, a tar and feather. <laughs> and then take photos. I love the idea that tarring and feathering could be a practical joke. <laughs> How do you get all the way there as a joke? Like, wait, oh, wait a minute, you tar and feathered me. Um, but I would do that. <laughs> Yeah, I will. <laughs> Hi. No, you guys carry on. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm sure that you're just always like really investigating strange and wacky type of things, just given your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, to your memory, what is the last thing on your Google search history? <laughs> search history from my computer. Right. Yeah. And it was like, uh, it was all like Jared Padalecki's abs, <laughs> Jared Padalecki hair, uh, which of course, I don't, I don't search that often. Uh, Me neither, don't worry. My search history is uh, long, longest 
uh, distance swimming. <laughs> and then the one before that is world record for longest uh, holding of breath. <laughs> and then fastest, uh, world record for the one mile run. Uh, and then the fastest marathon. And then what, <laughs> what is a profiterol? <laughs> And there you go, that was a perfectly, I'm an open book. I, I will share that with you. Thank you for asking. Thank you, Ray. You know, it was one of those moments, we were at a restaurant last night, and I realized, I've, gone, I've come this far in life, and I, I don't know what a profiterol is. I've, I've read that on a menu a million times, and I've always thought, I don't want whatever that is. <laughs> it's like a cream puff. Pastry thing. It's a profiterol. <laughs> I was just looking to see what the sign for profiterol was. <laughs> the word was. All right, hi. Hello. Um, my question for you is if there was a gender bent version uh, episode of Supernatural, who would you want to play as Castiel? First of all, every episode of Supernatural is gender bent. <laughs> but, um, who would I want to yeah, play? Yeah, like, a like, female actress. Who could if play we like, were doing a gender-bending episode yeah. of Supernatural, yeah. who would play Castiel? Yeah. I don't know, probably Jensen. It's, it's, it's funny, two years ago, I asked the same question to Jared and Jensen, and then they asked me who I thought should play, and I told them they would look good in drag. So, I... Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Hi Misha, sorry. Hi. This is like really weird for me since I'm super shy and it's kind of terrifying looking out there. Don't look out there. Okay. <laughs> Those aren't real people anyway. They're too okay. <laughs> Um, So why isn't there any world record breaking Gishwitz items? There are. There are? Am you I mean wrong? this year? Yeah. What? You this year. This year, this year. yeah. This year, okay. In general. This year. I know, I'm a crushing disappointment. <laughs> so we've broken it. A total of eight Guinness World Records. Some of them have been broken since we broke them, so we don't hold eight right now, but we've broken eight. Um, mm -hmm. I have them framed in my office. Um, sort of like I would imagine Donald Trump would. <laughs> but his would be fake, right? <laughs> you know what? The peanut gallery comes through every once in a while. Did you guys hear about that? He had it's uh, in, in one of his golf courses. He has a, a Newsweek cover of himself. It's Time, whatever. They're all fake news. Come on. <laughs> Time magazine cover up with himself on it. That's a fake cover. He just faked it. He just had somebody mock it up and put it on the wall for him. Um, they do have Time had done covers of him, but they were all not flattering. So he didn't like it. So he changed it. Um, which is, I think, a good approach. A good way to deal with, with, with bad press. Um, I, um, here's the truth. It's a total pain in the ass. You have to get, like, all these auditors. You have to apply way in advance. Um, they have to, they, they often say no. That won't qualify for Guinness World Record. Um, you end up having to forge documents in the end. <laughs> Nobody's recording this, right? 